They are among the most agonizing stories you will see. Stories of suffering and pain discovered too late. Stories of innocence extinguished. The guilty are their parents, caregivers, or the state system that didn't rescue them. The truth is that very few child deaths make the headlines, far more perish in obscurity. It is easy for people to point the fingers at the Department of Family and Child Services. We believe that, um, that we've outsourced our care for our neighbor and for children to, uh, to those bureaucracies. Father Joshua Case is with Holy Innocence Episcopal Church in Sandy Springs. We uh, keep the names of children following our uh, vigil that we have for them. Father Case is taking a stand for Georgia's children. The father and mother had beat her so bad and she was four months old. Georgia's Child Fatality Review Unit says 307 children died in Georgia in 2015 from murder and maltreatment. There was a child by this name whose uh, mother and father were both arrested for the abuse of the child. Poverty, that great divider in our state, claims the lives of many more children. A book at the back of the church lists the name of each child. Parishioners pray over them. It is 2015 and 2016 combined. How many 2000, are in here? Almost a thousand. A book was not enough. Case began performing funerals for children who died by violence in Fulton County. In just nine months, he buried 22 children in the cemetery for the indigent and poor in South Fulton County, often alone at the graveside because no one showed up. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around the fact that no one is there. And that child is part of the family of God. You don't get used to it, let me put it like that. The promise of life taken away, imperfect systems that aren't saving all of them. We can work uh, together at being better neighbors. Father Case is asking us to consider that we are responsible for one another. He is asking us to consider our state's children. If we don't bear witness to the burial of children, in our neighborhood, in our county, in our state. I don't know who will. In Sandy Springs, Jay Watson for 11 Alive News.